Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'll be demonstrating the Commvault IntelliSnap technology with the PureSorge Flash Array showing VM guest file recovery. So we're currently logged into my vCenter 6 environment using the vSphere web client. I have a VM called File Server, which is running Windows 2012 R2. It is currently sitting on a Commvault protected data store called Commvault DS. If we use the Pure Storage Web Client plugin, we can see the underlying details for this data store. It's running on a Pure Storage volume, Commvault DS, on my 405 array. If we take a look at our Flash Array snapshots listing, we can see a variety of snapshots that have been taken by the Commvault product. Now let's log into our VM. So let's grab the IP address of this virtual machine. We can see using VMware tools that the IP address is 10.21.10.217. So let's bring up an RDP session. So we now logged into my virtual machine and let's find a file that we want to do something with. So I have a big PowerPoint presentation called Big Important Presentation that I want to rename or something like that. So I accidentally hit Shift Delete and permanently delete the file. Oops. And then of course I confirm it as well mindlessly. So now I need to recover this file. Um, that has been backed up by Commvault in using the flash ray snapshots. So I log into the Commvault Simpana application to do so. I navigate to find my VMware subclient that refers to that virtual machine. So now I want to go to Browse and Restore in order to find the file that I want to restore. So I'm going to choose Guest Files and Folders and then View Content. So I can select the actual file or folder that I want to restore. I choose my virtual machine called File Server and then navigate its directory structure. My file was in Users Administrator do uh, Documents, so I'm going to go into there and find the file. Expand Administrator, go to Documents, and you'll see that my uh, big important presentation is listed there as a file that can be recovered because it is on one of my Flash Array snapshots to, that has been previously created by Commvault. So I'm going to recover that file and have a variety of options on where I can restore it. By default, you can restore it directly to the Commvault server, but I actually want to restore it directly back to my virtual machine. So the default selection is that VM that I'm restoring it to, and I'm going to give it administrative credentials to actually place that file back into the directory that I want. Now that I've got credentials, I'll navigate the actual directory structure of that virtual machine and choose exactly where I want to put that, that file. I can put it anywhere inside of the file system, but I want to put it exactly where it was deleted from to restore it correctly for my user. I choose that location and I'll keep the rest as default. I'm going to click OK and this is going to start the recovery job. So if we take a look at my Flash Array GUI, let's take a look at what Commvault has actually done. So if I look at my one recovery host, I can see that it's attached a new Commvault volume. Commvault volume is named CV underscore, and then the serial number of the snapshot that that volume was created from. So if we take a look at the details of that volume, it is sourced from my original data store, Commvault DS. If we go back into the vSphere web client, we can take a look at what's actually going on from the VMware point of view. So that volume has been created, it's been connected, uh, the cluster has been rescanned and it's been attached and now ESX via Commvault is resignaturing that VMFS and mounting it. You can see the resolve VMFS volumes op uh, operation going on right now. So we'll continue to refresh this and watch as new operations go through um, initiated by Commvault and Telesnap technology. So there's a variety of, of steps it's going to follow. It's going to copy some files over from the original data store to the new one. It's going to register a, a temporary virtual machine in order to grab those files outside of it. So it can pull the old file from that VM residing on the snapshot and move it into the original VM residing on the original data store. So the overall process is done from the VMware's perspective and now Commvault has placed that file back into my original virtual machine. You can see it is now there and fully populated the original size it was prior to its deletion. 
So the file has now been restored. If we jump back into the VMware interface, we can see that the ESX servers have been rescanned, and that means that the volume has been removed, has been deleted and detached from the servers. And if we take a look at our data store listing, that, that backup data store is now gone. So it's been kind of reverted to the way it was prior to this restore process, except the file is now back. If we look at Commvault Simpana, the job is complete. Thank you for watching this demonstration of VM file level restore with Commvault IntelliSnap in the Pure Storage Flash Array.